Have you met well, Chloe? I've, I've never met both of you. Wait, what? You've you, never I met know. Drax? I know. Oh, I know. You're married to Chris Pratt. I know. Oh, it's very bizarre. How are you? I'm oh my gosh. You. Well, I'm just bringing you. people Hi, together. Nice to meet you. So, so, yeah. I know. It was so funny because I told my husband I was coming on the show, and he's like, "Oh my god, that's so amazing." I was like. I know I've heard so much about you, but I've never met you, so. That's hilarious. Well, finally meet you. Yeah, likewise. Oh, my likewise. gosh. I love those movies. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, anyway, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, so your husband, though, he just, Chris Pratt, he had a birthday, right? A recent oh, yeah, birthday. Last, What'd you get him? I got him piggies. You got him actual pigs? Yeah, I did. What, like miniature ones? <laughs> no. no. Well, actually, what happened to me when I was in high school was I rescued this supposed miniature pig oh. um, when I lived at my parents' house. <laughs> and um, it turned into a giant potbelly pig <laughs> and rooted up my mom's entire lawn. Um, I'm just laughing because if I nobody's know. actually had a huge potbelly, they're enormous. They're <laughs> so big, very, very large. Yeah, that's bacon, my pig. Um, and she's oh, since you, passed away. You named her bacon. I know. My little brother, Christopher, actually named her bacon, so it's his <laughs> fault. But yeah, he has, um, we have an amazing place in Washington State, so there's a lot of land there. So the, these Ooh. pigs are not living with us. Yeah. They're living in like, a, a very beautiful farm. Yeah. Loving life, very large now, so I'm very excited that they did not come to our house because I was told they would say small. They did not. Yeah. I was told very, my very dog very was going to be miniature and lies and deception. <laughs> <laughs> Heifer's like 45 pounds. I'm like, what? He is not 15 to 18 pounds. I know. That's I awesome, though. So y'all have a farm in Washington? Washington's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, place beautiful. to escape. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I grew awesome. up around animals, so it's really fun. And I did as well. I love it. Yeah. It makes me so happy. Animals are so cool. They're yeah. just loyal and nice, and they're never mean. Um, <laughs> yeah. So have you all ever had any unusual pets? When I, I used to have this babysitter, and she had a rooster. Oh, and, they uh, can be mean. <laughs> yeah, and loud. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, it was very mean <laughs> yeah. because she would go outside, and she loved the rooster because how can you not love animals? And she would go outside and try to bond with it, roosters. and it would try to bite her. Yeah. And at a certain point, it was chasing her all around the yard, and she climbed up a tree, and it bit her butt, and it was horrible. <laughs> Oh my God, that happened to me one time in a little petting zoo. My sister, I was holding her child, and this goat kept nipping at my behind. I was like, get your child off of me! Because I was holding her kid like from the goat, and like my sister's just laughing, and I'm like, it's eating my butt! I was like, quit! <laughs> anyway, no, I love random pets, though. I, I, love, I love all kinds of pets, especially farms. It's nice to yeah. get out in like the wilderness, like just, the, just I'm without, out of the city. I'm having them in like a home in the city, though, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I also grew up like that. My dad has a miniature pony. And a donkey in, currently that he brings in the house. In constantly. your house. In his house, yes. Oh, and you got correction. Oh, in his house. <laughs> yes. You can do whatever you want in your house. Exactly. Okay, well, let's talk about your book. So the gift of forgiveness. Yes. What inspired you to do this? Really just life. I think I, you know, felt as many of us do, like I was struggling with forgiveness in my own life, and I went to try and find help and um, and resources, and I couldn't find anything that really spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And I felt that speaking to other people about their journeys and their struggles is really what inspired me to be able to go to my life and practice forgiveness. So yeah, I decided to yeah. yeah create that, and this book has a series of incredible stories that are just really mind-blowing, and these people have all been able to talk about practicing forgiveness and struggling with forgiveness, and some still struggling with it, so it's a really awesome story. I, I think it's amazing, because even though sometimes in my life I feel like I have forgiven a situation, then you're like, oh, this isn't just like a one-time thing. I have yeah. to keep <laughs> practicing at this. Yeah. Like, because I don't think I did fully yeah, forgive. Yeah, and it was actually something interesting that was in the book and also interesting, because people are always like, okay, so what's the quick fix on how do I practice forgiveness? And I keep reminding people that what forgiveness means to you is something totally than what it means to me, which mm -hmm. makes it so much more complicated, but also really interesting, because in for a lot of us, it's a one-and-done thing, which in, the, in my book, there are some people who practice forgiveness and they're done and they're good. And there are a lot of us, like myself, who it's an ongoing process. Mm, and so what I like to say to people is, is that I have struggled with forgiveness and I've been able to practice it, but I'm a fellow struggler with forgiveness mm. and it's an ongoing process. But when I struggle, I'm able to now draw inspiration from the stories in my book to kind of help get me through, and that's been incredibly helpful for me. Yes, because some of the people you interviewed, that's a, yeah. that's a hefty <laughs> amount of forgiving. I know, these names are like Elizabeth Smart, Sue Klebold, um, Pablo Escobar's son, Sebastian Marroquin. We have so many incredible, uh, amazing people in the book and just a really wide range of stories, which was really important to me. People yeah. from all different backgrounds, all walks of life, all different faiths, some with no faith. So 
it was important to me to get a good mixture of people who've experienced a variety of different, yeah. And so somebody can read it and, and relate to something. And also I encourage people to kind of pick it up and put it down because it is a lot. A heavy read. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a heavy read, but it's also really inspiring because people gave me the gift of just really being so open and honest and raw and vulnerable with me, which was incredible. Yeah. And now with anybody who gets to read it, so. Have y'all, do you feel like you've ever had to dig deep to like forgive someone? I have. I'm not really I'm well, not great at forgiving. I probably need to read the book. I probably need to read the book. I'll have him over for dinner and just talk about it yeah. some more. I probably should read the book. Yeah. You're, hey, you're 11, but hey, a lot, a lot of people count kids out, but a lot of things happen yeah. when you're a kid that can be devastating. Like, I mean, my girl's five years old and she has had her heart broken already just by friendships. Oh. You know, like that, by people. Exactly. Yeah, by all of a sudden, like some girls just like mean to write an her and she's like, wait, I thought we were friends. You know, that's know. pretty devastating. It is, you know, like, uh, Especially this generation, like, I feel like too many kids are worried about how other people see them instead of oh, how they see their It's self. a daily conversation and I have with my And they feel like they have to fit in and match everybody. And mm. it's just like, that's how it is. Like, either you're in, in the group or you're out. And it's like, it shouldn't be that way. You should just accept everybody for, you know, how they are. And that's how you have real friends if you're the real mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.